Tommy Atomic Rodriguez, your friendly neighborhood ecologist. How's everyone doing today? So, joining me today is Miko the cat. He likes to hang out on the couch. For some reason, he wants to be in the video today, so we're just going to let him hang out. But, what are we talking about today? We are talking about Element Air's tra Trablink, Trabla, I don't know how to pronounce this flavor, clearly. It's Russian, so if you do know how to pronounce it, please leave a comment in the comment section below to let me know how to pr properly pronounce this. Greatly appreciate it. So the flavor profile of this tobacco. It's very chocolatey. It is a dessert flavor, very like tamarisu. I'm getting hints of nuts. Not sure, maybe it's almonds, I think. But I'm really getting that taste. And for me personally, my flavor profile, I don't want chocolate. So for me, this isn't a flavor I am really enjoying but it is a very good dessert flavor nonetheless. So if you are a big dessert fan and like chocolate, this would be the perfect flavor for you. For my purposes today, out of my matte pair, as you can see that I'm smoking, we have an 80 feet 80 bowl with a mixture of red lips and banana dolce from Eternal Smoke with 20 to 25% of this tiramisu flavor. Now I did that because I, like I said, I don't personally enjoy chocolate flavors, so this is trying to help me get through it and I've already taste, tested this flavor a couple different times and I just can't get over the chocolate. It's very overpowering. So you do have to, if you do plan to mix it, you should put a little bit less in your bowls as you pack the flavor. I will touch on this a little bit. What Element Air has done with the Air line compared to their Dark line is that it is less heat temperamental. So I have been smoking with this for about 30, 40 minutes now, and my session has gone very well. Now, if I were using, you know, earth or water, I would be having a tough time smoking this. I haven't tried the new batch of the earth and water that they have now released, but it is holding the heat temperature very well. What I really have been enjoying about this bowl, and pretty much all element air, is the longevity of each each flavor. The flavor is really there even after two hours and I've since I've been using a turtle smoke which has been you know been known to keep the keep the flavor for just as long it's actually becoming a really enjoyable session. So this is a flavor I would say is really good to mix with especially if you have some other dessert flavor with it it's gonna go complement it very well. Is that that's what I can say about the flavor so far. Now I have to ask myself when I buy new tobaccos, especially when I'm trying them for the channel, is this something I'm going to pick up again just in case I ever want to smoke it? Me personally, and I say this with the utmost respect, absolutely not. I, like I said, this is a personal preference of mine and with smoking hookah, it all comes down to personal preference and your flavor profile. I am never going to pick this up again. It's a very enjoyable flavor when I pair it well with with what I have it with, but this is not something I'm going to pick up on a regular basis like I would other flavors. Not to say it's not a bad flavor, but it's just not for me. Now, on a scaling of 1 to 10, I'm going to have to give this a 2, with the only saving grace is the fact that it's going to last me up to 2 hours, or maybe even longer, depending on how I pack the bowl. Well guys, that's all I really have for you this video. I do thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And if you have any other flavors that I should try, leave it in the comment section below. But to find me on Instagram and or Twitter, you're going to look under the underscore hookahologist. To find this beautiful face on Facebook, you're going to look under Tommy Rodriguez. Until next time, guys. Keep smoking. All right, now we're just going to close it out because that's how we do things around here. Fastest, fastest review ever. <laughs> We're getting good at this, son. I'd like to thank the Academy for allowing me to win this award. 
I also like to thank the little people of my production team, even though I'm the smallest member of my production team. Um, they are a big help. Big shout out to Travis for pushing me to do YouTube videos again, even though he is the biggest bully I've ever met in my life. I'd like to thank Tuck for always being supportive and, you know, always giving me good advice. I'd like to thank Aji for always being the comic relief whenever we needed it. That black redneck really knows how to party. Let me tell you that. Oh shit, I'm recording. <laughs>